Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the shit show if you're new here. It cannot be my new intro. I went on a little um, Ulta, Ulta haul trip and I went frolicking around Ulta and I found a bunch of stuff. It's all, I got everything that's in the affordable section at Ulta, so that's a plus. What else, what else do I want to say? Hold on, it's coming to me, it's coming. It will be here eventually. Oh, if you want to see me getting all of these, I filmed that in my vlog that is already up. I will put it up here if you want to go check that out. Look at this lip combo, dude. Mm. I think that's like one of the best lip combos I've ever used in my whole entire life. I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Even if you don't like it, I mean, you can dislike it if you want. That would be kind of rude, but whatever. I'm not here to stop you. Do whatever the hell you want. Let's get into the video. <clears throat> All right, let's jump right into this. I'm sorry if that was loud. I was right up in my mic. These clips are from XO Beauty, and they're supposed to be, like, crease-free and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't think they leave creases. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. It's been a hot minute since I've done a video like this. I'm so excited. My husband's home and Alfie hears him. So sorry for the barking. He's a, he's a vocal pup <laughs> when he gets excited. My brows are halfway decent. I really do not want to mess with them. So the brow products that I got, I got the e.l.f. Brow Lift Clear. I'm trying to figure out how to, I think that's good. And then the e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in the shade Espresso. I kind of actually got excited when I picked this one up because Espresso is, oh wait, no. Oh crap, I hope that, yeah, I mean it looks like a dark brown, dark, dark brown. Um, the NYX I Micro Brow Pencil, I'm the shade Espresso. Like, that shade is my perfect eyebrow shade. So I was excited to see Espresso, but completely different brand. So I'll put these in my drawer, and we'll do... I'll let you know how I like them. So I'm going to prime first, and I'm using the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. That's a mouthful. My lights are too bright. We'll eventually get this. This primer is one of the best primers I have ever used. I love it so much, but I use it sparingly. It's expensive for a primer. Scrub a dub dub in the tub. But I will absolutely repurchase again. Oh, I need to self tan so bad. I'm not doing any eyeshadow. I just really want to keep it simple with like lashes lashes being the main star i didn't get crazy lashes i got these but i just i want something simple i have been doing a lot of more simple looks lately why am i breathing so hard jesus i love revolution i haven't done a good revolution uh try on in a while so this is the revolution irl filter finish soft matte concealer I swatched it in the store and I really, really liked the consistency of it. I got the shade C6. I'm going to do my makeup the same that I have been doing it recently. Let me zoom in a little bit. Oh, no. I guess that's good. Oh, my God. What is my husband doing? I need to do that. I kind of wanted to do left, but whatever. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hope this doesn't dry fast. I don't really know why I do this, but I do put some. Ooh. I literally just watched a video of some girl saying, do not put your concealer wand directly on your pimples. Which I know that. I know I should not do that. It's just like, it's impulsive sometimes and it just happens. And here we are. Pretty good coverage. It is like, I would say medium coverage. Definitely not full, but it's really nice. Like smoothing for sure. So it doesn't dry abnormally fast or anything. I was, it sat there for a little bit and I had to stop and text my husband and it sat there and it's fine, so. Yeah, I would definitely say, I think it is labeled as medium. Oh, soft matte, waterproof. 
long wear breathable 16 hour holy cow that sounds amazing I think I did really good on the shade because I sometimes I do like a really bright under eye or bright ish not today I don't just hoping that my concealer is not no I don't think so I was gonna say not darker than my foundation but I don't think so so okay I got C6 in the concealer and F6.5 so hopefully it'll be a little bit darker oh bronzer man I didn't get a new bronzer I almost grabbed the elf putty bronzer but I think I have that one I wasn't the biggest fan of it it really wasn't bad it was a pretty good one I just like this one better it's the NYX wonder stick and it's really nice I kind of wish I would have gotten a lighter the like shade down from this but it's okay it definitely works this is the perfect shade for me when I am self tanned but I'm clearly not right now so <laughs> and we can't stop and we won't and this brush is um, a it's the high def brush f9 by AOA studio um, from shop miss a it's really really good for this I'm not actually doing uh, I forgot what they call it, what they call when you do your, <clears throat> or your uh, like contour and blush under your foundation. I forgot what they call that. I'm not doing, I'm not really doing that. I am mainly doing where I do like concealer where it go, the cream products where they go. And then I, wherever there isn't a uh, bronzer, concealer or blush I put my foundation there and then I kind of just blend out the edges with any excess foundation that I have so I'm not layering up the the cream bronzer with the powder bronzer no so I'm not layering so I don't have cream bronzer then foundation then regular powder then powder bronzer you know like I just I've been doing this technique lately and even though I'm a full coverage girl I've been really liking the way this looks trust the process unless it turns out like crap then I'm sorry I lied to you can't wait to eat I cannot wait to eat I really really want pluckers oh I hit the blush I mean the brush not the That was so not even. Your vein, your games, your insecure. You love me, you like her. And you can pretty much clean up any mistakes with your foundation, and it's much easier to clean them up with cream products than powder. I feel. This I do cover back up with found like this area. I do cover back up with foundation just because I don't want it as visible as the rest. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. It's number six. I don't know what set this is from. I don't remember if in my older YouTube videos if I contoured my nose, but I really don't think I did. I think I may have tried it a couple times, but then never really like stuck with it oh yay let's try this blush I really was attracted to the shade of this I've tried their putty bronzer and I think I liked it but let's see if I like the blush I'm really excited this is the shade Turks and Caicos it's like a peach I would say definitely a peach this is a really old BH Cosmetics brush from their rose gold collection yes definitely rose gold Out of the box. Out of the box. That blends really easily. Trust the process, trust the process, trust the process. I'm just using the sponge that I use for my concealer just to tone it down a little bit and blend it in more. I have an eyelash that's like curled into my eye and it's touching my eyeball. Oh, it's 
Now let's try the foundation. Is there a food you've been fixated on lately? If so, what is it? I would love to know. I just watched a video of a girl. She's been fixated on this food that she makes at home and it's like kind of like fried rice. Um, and she does, it is fried rice. She makes it like kind of crispy and then she puts an egg on it. And then what else? She puts like soy sauce and chili flakes in it, hot chili flakes. It looked so good and I really want to try it. I love hearing about what people are fixated on at the moment or if it's a restaurant. Okay, IRL filter F long wear foundation breathable soft matte in the shade F 6.5. Ooh, That is light. That might be the same shade as my concealer, but it is different undertone. So I don't know. I, I don't know. So I, oh, I forgot to blend. Hmm. Okay. I just get some on the sponge and then start blending. <laughs> this is so hard to find. If you know me, know the same of feng shui. So before I dip back in to get more product for the other productless spots I'll take this same side of the sponge and just go over just a little bit like since there's barely any product on there it's not taking it's not really taking much of the pigment away and then if it's not really blending it in because there's still there all the product is like completely gone after blending one side and then I'll do it again on this side after I get the excess off I don't know if I'm making any sense. Certified everywhere and gonna print my resume. Oh, I do want crawfish too. I mean, I can eat crawfish when I'm hungry, hungry. It Like, I'll just eat a lot. And crawfish, <laughs> crawfish is not cheap. There's a patch right there. I don't know what happened. We will fix it. Oh, that was too much. It's okay. Go crazy, I pull up on delay. R.I.P. the Nate dog. I definitely put too much on my forehead. I like the way my skin looks right now. Is that all the new products? Oh, this is my setting spray, but I love this one. I This is my holy grail. If you need a new setting spray, get this one. Don't second guess. Oh my god, it's literally, I will buy this over any high-end, any setting spray I have ever used. It's the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. We're not even to this portion of the video yet, but I'm just, I love talking about this stuff. Thank you, Soph. Soph does nails, used to be Soph does nails, Soph does life. She raved about this, and so I had to try it, because I heard her talking about it multiple times, and I was like, okay. That's when you know, when a content creator talks about something more than once, you know it's good, especially if it's not sponsored. Now we'll do powder. I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This was like a special edition one. Super cute and massive. I, I feel like I'm never gonna, I will run out of this. Yo mama, she keep looking at me. I'ma knock the meow out like fight night. Hit it with a left, hit it with a right. I'm gonna knock the meow out like fight night. Beat it with a left, beat it with a right. I'm gonna knock the meow out like... <laughs> That's not a meow anymore. <laughs> Certified everywhere, I gotta print my resume. Talking crazy, I pull up on delay. R.I.P. the Nate dog. I had to regulate that. He got the time. Now I'm going in with my Anastasia uh, Tawny bronzer, powder bronzer. Oh, it's my favorite. I need a new one. Even I don't even really look at the Anastasia section, but I will hop in there for a new one of these. I will remember you. How did you guys like my last vlog? I had so much fun filming that and I know it was just regular everyday stuff well I mean the smashed uh mac screen was pretty interesting I'd say but I just really like it feels like I'm literally hanging out with y'all for the day I'm doing things running errands and 
y'all are with me the whole time. I really, really, really want to do more like that, just where it's like day of, just my whole Friday or my whole Tuesday. Oh, don't expect many Tuesdays from me. I hate Tuesdays. I'm going to clean this up a bit. I don't want to hurt him anymore. I don't want to be the reason why. And for blush, oh, wow. These are really similar colors, huh? No, this one's more peach. Well, oh, I feel like this is the perfect match. Okay, so this is the putty blush. And so look at that. And then this, oh, yes, a beautiful pair. Oh my gosh. And this is the Joa Airlight Soft Powder. Powder blush. Powder blush. In the shade Warm Poppy. That's such a cute name. I love that name. This is the, you might not want it after that swipe of blush. It's kind of big. Yeah, I should probably be using something small. I'll use, this is what I normally use for blush. I don't know why I grabbed that one. Uh, it's actually a bronzer brush, bl bronzer brush by, <laughs> calm down, calm down. Bronzer brush by XO Beauty. It works really well for cr cream blush. I was going to say, didn't I use it for my cream blush? But no, I use this one. Old yeller. I'm definitely going to have to warm up my face some. I'm going to go pick out maybe like kind of a, a, a bronzer with a sheen, maybe to add some glow into my face. Grabbed the Hard Candy Instant Summer in the shade Natural and it's mango and cocoa butter infused. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks a little darker on camera. It's a little bit lighter. Dang, I should have used my new e.l.f. primer. I really like this one. The e.l.f. putty, pri no, not putty, <laughs> uh, power grip primer, but it has 4% niacinamide in it. I'm just kind of doing this very like loosely around my face. It's a light. Y'all, he does not bark this much. Like. During the day, I think it's because it's evening time, maybe we got a package, and then now I think maybe my husband's home. I don't know, but he does not normally, I can go an entire day without hearing him bark until Sebi gets home. I think he's just showing out for y'all. I'm so sorry, guys. I sometimes like the blush look when it's more far, like farther in. I think I like it more when I'm self-tan. I'm trying to take some of that away. I don't like how it's like coming in so far, but I do want more blush where I actually do want it here. There we go. Using the Anastasia one again, the Tawny, to do, to do my nose. Every time I walk out the door, I see him die a little more inside. And I don't want to hurt him anymore. Take a more fluffy brush. I am going to get off camera really quick and I'm going to put these lashes on and maybe literally just a simple line of my favorite Essence Super Precise Liner. And then I'll come back so I can show, try out the little lip combo I got. My heart just dropped. I just got an email from Google saying that, I was, that my account was compromised, but it was saying they found um, suspicious activity from when it got hacked. So I think it was just a delayed response. <laughs> oh, that scared me. Okay, let me do something with my hair really quick. I don't I think I'm gonna wear a beanie so truthfully it's probably gonna stay like this once I put the beanie on I'll kind of like tease a little bit just to give it some oomph the lip stuff I got was this is the revolution IRL filter finish lip definer is the shade caramel syrup What an odd shade name for something that looks nothing like caramel syrup. I would walk 500 miles an hour. Very pretty shade though. Very, very pretty shade. Would walk 500 more just to be the man who walked a thousand miles. I really like that. Man, I should have got the lipstick too. Now for lip gloss, this is the Glaze Lip Oil with Cherry Seed Oil and Hyaluronic. 
I'm guessing hyaluronic acid. It just says hyaluronic. And this is in Lust Clear. I hope that's catching because that is beautiful. Ooh, that feels nice. If you're new here, I am the type to do lipstick for a video and then take it off because I'm going to eat. <laughs> like today, this is probably going to come off because I, if I'm eating wings or crawfish or pasta, it's pointless to have this on and I don't want it like getting everywhere. So, so I feel like this look is going to look really cute with, I'm wearing like my black leather jacket and it kind of goes up. It's like really cozy. And then just some either skinny jeans. I know skinny jeans are out, but I found some really cute ones at Zara the other day. They're not out. Wear whatever the hell you want, but I have been getting more loose fitting jeans. So I'm either going to wear the skinny jeans or just leggings, black leggings with my black it's kind of like a, not biker jacket. I don't know how to explain it. It's really nice though. And then a beanie. So I feel like this is gonna go with the wintry look that I'm going for, especially the rosy cheeks. Oh, I should, I should add some blush to my nose for sure. Even better. Ah, fixes everything. I bet the people that hate blush on nose were like, thank God she finally stopped doing that. And then bam. <laughs> That's all for this video. We're done now. I'm gonna go stuff my face. I'm so excited. If you have any video suggestions or anything you would like to see from me, just let me know down below. Whatever day this is going up, let this be your sign to go pick up that food you've been craving. No matter how many calories, no matter what it is, no matter how weird it is, go get it. I love you so much. Bye.